This is a Microsoft Excel 2010 video about um, pulling a shared construction punch list. This is part five, protecting data. This is the spreadsheet um, as we left it in the last part. Now we're going to cover some protection of data on here. And remove a few items that were left over here. Now the first type of protection uh, we're going to talk about here is uh, protecting the workbook. This protects against adding or deleting sheets to the workbook. And if you download the template, then that will already be set. Uh, if you've done this uh, following on the videos and created this on your own, then that won't be set. And you want to set that. And when you do, it gives you an option to protect the workbook for structure. When those were interested in protecting for structure, and you want to set a password on that download template, will already have a password set on it so that nothing gets added or removed to it. So you won't have an option actually of changing that one. The next thing is protecting the sheet. And uh, this enables us to uh, take certain areas of the worksheet that aren't intended to have uh, data entered on them and protect them so people don't change them. In this case, it, uh, it's intended that the project name, owner, and architect would already be set before this thing is, is shared. And uh, therefore, the only areas that we're interested in uh, allowing to be changed would be right the areas on the work, uh, punch list itself. So in order to do that, uh, by default, all of the cells are on the worksheet are locked and has no effect unless you protect the sheet. But if, since we're going to protect the sheet, uh, that would lock them all. So we are going to select the cells that we want to have changeable. And uh, it's going to be all 100 of the rows here. And I'm going to go to Home. Uh, alignment and then protection and we're going to uncheck the locked box on that. So now all those cells are unlocked. Now one other thing we need to do before we protect this worksheet is we want to select this row right here and we're going to data and we're going to set the auto filter in place. And the reason is that once we protect the sheet, uh, it won't be possible to uh, set that. So that's everything that we need to do. We're going to go back to review and we're going to protect the sheet. Now, uh, you want to password protect this. Um, it will be protected by default on the download, but there's no password set, so you can first thing you need to do to make any changes which you'll have to make is to unprotect the sheet. And by default normally uh, well, anything could be set in here, maybe set to select lock cell, select unlock cell. In our case we want to allow uh, selection only of unlocked cells. So nothing else really needs to be uh, checked here. We want to allow anything. However, one other thing is we need to allow the use of auto filter. Now we set the auto filter in place before protecting the sheet because you can't do it after you protect it. So that allows the filtering of the sheet. And there we go. Now we are protected on the sheet, but not by password. So I can click anywhere in here. I can add data and everything else, but I can't click anywhere else here. So that is adding data protection uh, to this sheet. Now we want to do the same thing on our validation sheet or something similar. And in this case, uh, we're going to protect the sheet. The sheets protect separately. Again, we want to do password protection. But here we're not going to allow anything. And so no changes made on this sheet. Uh, except by the person with the with the password. So again, this would be password protected. And so here, nothing is selectable. And to unprotect the sheet without password protection, you just go to unprotect, and it just does it. So um, 
that is the way this would be. Normally, you will see the Protect Workbook set. Uh, concludes this for data protection. For further information or to download the template, go to drinfrastructure.com.